Their supporter shield leaders, they've been Western Conference leaders since late April. Seattle Sounders FC are in Chicago tonight for their final game before the World Cup break. They face a fire team who've won just twice this season but have proved hard to beat. Seeding too many goals in the beginning of the year, but two shutouts in their last three matches, both when Chad has been in the lineup and up top. Everything flows through Obafemi Martins. He has proven that he can be the goal scorer and the goal distributor. Three players for the Chicago Fire team that's played every minute so far this season, and it's the pace of Quincy Ameriqua up top. He's got five goals to his name. So the incentive for Seattle Sounders today, going to that World Cup break as the undisputed top team in MLS and then enjoy the time away. I get it's important that you bypass your closest player at times and you look beyond them into the space like you see right now for Chad Berry. Lovely ball by Gonzalo Pineda. Held off Lorentovitz. Evans joining in. Martins is there! 1-0! Making up for earlier with a deadly finish. And the back flicks out of vogue. But it doesn't matter. Oberfemi Martins gives Seattle the lead. Well, two times the Sounders changed the point of attack. What we see right now at Chad Barrett drifts outside. But when Brad Evans is playing right back, this is what you get. Him coming into the attack late, whipping a dangerous ball, but Oberfemi Martins cleans it up. Bakary Samari couldn't clear it with that first touch and it falls to one of the most lethal finishers in the league. Seven goals so far this season to go on to his league leading six assists. Terrific, terrific stuff. Defending and defending as a group, it's absolutely a testament to starting up top of the pressure of Chad Barrett. We saw that throughout the first half. As now Evans goes on another really well-timed overlap. It comes out towards Martins. Two-footed tackle. It's a penalty. And it had to be. It's a yellow card for John Kennedy Hurtado. It's his second of the game. And the former sounder is sent off. It's a really sad sight to see Hurtado visibly upset. Bakari Samari having to hold him back. And from a Sounders point, things are getting even better. Well, this was already an emotionally charged match, but John leaps up. That's a two-footed challenge. This absolutely is a penalty and a yellow card right there. Could even be a straight red. Absolutely, but it doesn't need to be. And another opportunity for the Sounders for the third consecutive match to step out from 12 yards and score. But Pineda has taken the last two penalties and scored them both. But it's going to be over Femi Martins. He missed one against Tampa Bay Rowdies in the US Open Cup last year. But no mistake here. Martin's second of the game. Seattle with a two-goal lead against ten men. Well, two goals and a brace already for Obafemi Martins as he sends Sean Johnson the wrong way. He's Done well in the past against Sounders on penalty, saving one against Ozzy Alonso last year in Seattle, but not against Obafemi Martins right now. 2-0 against 10 men. This is an uphill battle for this Chicago team and a huge opportunity for Seattle to control the pace of this game. Ritter winning the header. Ship riding a tackle, furthest man forwards, he's got the skills though Harry Ship. he's showing them, it's a really good effort, and it's game back on, that is rookie of the year material. And this is an individual effort from the homegrown player of Chicago running at Chad Marshall. He opens it up to his preferred right foot, but drags it past Brad Evans, can't come in fine. And he finds that side netting, and we've got something going on at midfield right now. Oh, 
Benji Hoyer here is racing towards the Sounders. And Chris Penso has another melee to deal with. And it's a red card for a Sounders player. Well, it's Martins to take the kickoff. Well, it must have happened before that, Ross, because Benji Hoya was running around saying as if he had been struck in the face. And there's the reaction right there from Obafemi Martins as he sees that, that card from the back pocket. Ship will take it short. Benji Hoya can line up a shot. Oh, it's come all the way out to America! Fantastic save from Stefan Fry. Again right at him, but this time he had milliseconds to react. How telling can that stop be in the next half an hour? He's now going to have to run 70 yards back. So let's see this great save from Stefan Fry. Well, it starts from a short corner and gives Benji Hoya an opportunity to take a shot from distance. It kindly falls right there. Actually, it's Quincy Ameriqua other than Bakare Sumari. You'd think he'd have the composure to finish that, but a fantastic save by Stefan Fry to keep the Sounders up 2-1. Well, what looked like a match that was going to be another trouncing from the Sounders after they score that second goal, going up a man. Chicago finding a way to find back into the game with the Obafemi Martins red card. Papa, lovely skill. Cooper on for Nagel. If it comes down, it's an effort. Just wouldn't sit. It does now! And that could be the winner! Lamar Nagel with a fizzing strike. And for those fans, it's worth the 2,000 mile trip. And well, Marcus Hanneman, you can shine those shoes because that was sublime. Well, when you play with three at the back, you leave yourself vulnerable outside, and it looks like the chance has come and gone with Lamar Nagel and the patience that he takes, but he picks out that far corner. Sean Johnson frozen as it goes just behind Lavelle Palmer, and Lamar Nagel scores his fifth goal of the season. Marcus Hanneman shines his boot right there. Is that game set match for the Sounders? Regains that two goal cushion with just over 12 minutes to play against a tired Chicago could Seattle add to that league best record of nine goals in the last 10 minutes it's a possibility but they want to make sure they don't concede that's the most important thing now we're more important than those nine goals and now Harry Ship is in there it's another one from Ship. it's another fantastic finish from the rookie and like in the first half Ship will not give it up Well, twice this evening the Sounders open up a two-goal cushion and twice it's Harry Ship responding, finding a gap in between the Sounders back four and another fantastic finish. A great first touch sets him up. And this one's not over yet. Now Sigaris. Can he find some room? He's found the Nagano! Another good save by Stefan Fry. Close to him, but he made the final stop. And now it's one-on-one -on -one for Kenny Cooper. He'll take on Bakari Samari and get a goal kick. High drama at both ends of the field. We will play into an eighth minute of stoppages. And now we get the full-time whistle. Five goals, two red cards, a bunch of yellows, and a big bucket full of incident. But Seattle Sounders prevail by three goals to two.